but yes, she says it's not religious, but it is spiritual. I did take a class when I lived in Ocala. Oh, my dear friend lives in Ocala. I gain balance in my body and in my mind. You do slow down and refresh yourself. Yes. But Tai Chi, if you haven't tried it, just try it. See what it's like. You might be surprised. <laughs> you might. This is from Daniel Fonte. Hello from Montreal. I understand you very well, better than before with this microphone. I was thinking to make a video this morning, but the fire alarm went crazy. The nice old lady that lives in the condo below me had left a pan on the stove and it burnt bad. I guess she snoozed. The first floor was smoky. Oh my. We helped her out of her place. She had no shoes in her feet because of smoke. We did not see them. But she had to get out so that she could not, would not suffocate from the smoke. But once her windows were open, the stove shut off. We saw that there was no major damage, nothing, except her saucepan, which was burnt. There was no need to call the fire department for so little. There was more fear than damage. Oh, I can imagine. But it makes me worry now for the future. So the video will be later, not today. I admire your abilities for gardening. Like I've told you before, I think plants and flowers, they dry up just looking at me. <laughs> so I watch them in the future without getting too close to them. I appreciate them in their natural environment. It's safer for them and for me. <laughs> have a lot of and for me who have a lot of allergies have a great day well I tell you that did happen to me I don't know if y'all saw the video I did when I was living over at the old folks place yes I, I don't remember exactly what happened because I try to forget bad stuff <laughs> but oh yeah it, it was scary and the alarm goes off in my apartment and then it goes off in all of them in the building well then they all go into panic you know it's it's very scary and it's a very serious situation i hope you put that up on your youtube because that's something we all need to think about the older we get because i didn't i mean i was i was not sleeping i was cooking and went in the other room and time passed before i even knew what was going on and there you go Yep, you have to be careful, that's for sure. Good, nice to hear from you. And that you're okay. And that you stay away from those flowers. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. <laughs> and here's Renflo. Says, we love you, me, Ma. Never change. Oh, well, thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Lots of comments for the new grandbaby. Yeah, Chloe's beautiful. She looks like her sister. Just, but we have so many baby girls. In fact, we don't have not one baby boy in the family. Lots of little princesses. <laughs> Lots of little princesses. Well, that's it for the comments for today. And, uh, well, anyway... So that means that y'all are being busy, taking care of business, or trying to stay cool. Although it has, get, we've gotten a little reprieve. I think yesterday it got to a hundred. Isn't that funny when you start saying, "Oh, it only got to a <laughs> hundred. <laughs> oh my 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 my! Yesterday evening, 
I walked puppies, you know, out of the courtyard. There they were walking around us. And uh, there was this squirrel. And my sister has some little grape hyacinths. They're, you know, little purple hyacinths that come up in the spring around this tree outside in her backyard. Well, the squirrel had dug up the balls and was just chewing on them, eating them up. So next year, she's not going to have any. If, if he eats them all, or she eats them all, and I'm thinking, I'm getting ready to plant 200 balls. <laughs> oh, no. They won't make it till next spring if, they, if that little critter has anything to do with it. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe I ought to put them in pots. But I've already started the beds, you know, to put them in. Oh, well. I'll discuss it with her and see what she thinks. I just hate to do a bed and then them not come up in the spring. You know, if I can put them in a pot and uh, hopefully the squirrels won't get in a pot. Doesn't always keep them from getting in a pot, though. <laughs> They'll just sit up on the edge of the pot and just dig in there and have a feast, you know. You know, they make these uh, bulb lasagna pots, you know, where you take a pot and then you put all the bulbs in there, different levels. So they're blooming constantly all through the spring. you got hyacinths and, you know, tulips and lilies and whatever you want to put in that pot. And they call it a lasagna pot, bulb pot, which is, I think, it's funny. Uh, we used to call them indoor pots when we did that but I guess now people do them outside more than they do them in the houses you know apartments and stuff but I was thinking yeah that squirrel was having his uh, lasagna out there underneath that tree with those gray pies and bulbs yeah he was having a great time a, a great time Well, I'm almost finished this. this and I can't remember what I'm supposed to do next. But I think I need to uh, take care of the loose ends on that black uh, twin comforter. And take care of the loose ends and get that uh, baby in the mail. If I can get that done, then I can um, start a new project. <laughs> don't know what I'm going to do next I've got some beautiful yarns but I'm going to think, think I'm going to do something with the pink but I can't remember do y'all remember what I was supposed to do next you know I had a piece of paper I did I put it like that I had a piece of paper and I wrote down my projects I don't know what to do with this paper. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I guess I'll just pull out some yarn and get started. I did look at some YouTubers for some new pro, you know, new projects that I thought maybe I might want to do. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just like a total blank. What was I going to do next? I got up this morning and I said, you know, I want an egg. So, by golly, I fixed me an egg. And, uh, and well, I put some butter in the pan, you know. Put my egg in there after the butter got warm. And then I took some flour fork tortillas and I laid them in there, you know. They're all cooking together. <laughs> And then I put some sugar and cinnamon on my flour tortillas and brown them up. They're very tasty that way. I know it probably sounds gross to you, but it was something I wanted. So I had my coffee and uh, my cinnamon flour tortillas with butter, a fried egg, and orange juice. Something about eating eggs 
I know some people are allergic to eggs, but I like eggs. And it's a good protein for me. I know they say don't. They tell me don't eat any eggs with your heart. Don't do that. We've already cleaned you out several times. Don't eat the eggs. Well, sometimes you just got to have one. Am I killing myself? Well, I'm dying anyway. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> moment we're born, we're dying. But we're trying to live during the process and be happy. Be content. You know, what can make us happier? Than good food, cool house, place, you know, safe place to live. Crochet hooks, some, some yarn. A little fur baby, a friend. One thing I do know, I do not tolerate the heat. Very, you know, yesterday when I was out in the yard, I wasn't out there 30 minutes. Mm -mm. I had to come in. I mean, I was, I was... I don't know, it was stifling. I think it's the word I've been using a lot lately. It's stifling. Stifling hot. And I'm thinking, well, now this is July the what? What is today? July the 15th, 16th? 16th, I think, maybe? Yeah, we haven't even got into August yet. But we will. And we'll, between then and now, we'll have some showers, and we'll be grateful for the showers, and and we will, I'll probably get some new books. I, I've still got uh, three more to read, I think, this month, and then she'll be bringing me some more the first of next month. I really enjoy the one I'm reading now. I thought I would have it done last night, but you know, it was a late night. <laughs> Just really late night. But I really like it. It's uh I think it's the children in it that just they're so cute and witty you know and so simple in their thought pattern you think my God, we can't think like that. I was watching one of the English uh, TV, old TV shows, and and it's about Moss and his partner, and his partner's young, and he's from Wales or somewhere, so he's got a very singular way of thinking, and it's always opposite of Moss, the detective. <laughs> And it's so comical because the simplicity of how, you know, the younger uh, detective thought. And I was thinking that's almost like a child's thought when you think. I don't know if that's called in the box or out of the box thinking. What do you think? I was trying to think of an example of what, but something he said yesterday, and I just cracked up. And I thought, <laughs> I can't remember. I'm sorry. I just got that started, and I should have remembered, because it was really quite quaint about how people think. Everybody, Did you know there's... I read a book one time and it says there's 21 ways to think about something. And I was thinking, 21 ways? So I had to get the book. You know, it was one of those on the library table that they have for sale. <laughs> you know, for 50 cents or four for a quarter or four for a dollar or whatever. So I got the book and it, so it starts out and it talks about the, uh, the ways of thinking. And, of course, it starts out with the ways that we usually think. In the box, out of the box. 
And then the next thing they talk about is get the cheese or don't worry about the cheese or trap the cheese. Then the next one is you are the tortoise or you are the hare. Hmm. So, so far, you know, it's given you lots of options of how you think. So, if you're, if you want a glass of milk, okay, do you plan how you're going to get that glass of milk? Just go get the glass of milk? Do you think about if you want the milk cold or hot? <laughs> do you want any milk at all? Do you have to have milk? And you say, oh, i got to have a cookie with it. And you think, oh, do I want the glass of milk in a glass? Plastic glass? White glass? You know, glass glass? Maybe a cold cup? Maybe I want to put ice in my milk. Some people say, no, I do not want glass of milk. Or... Uh, yes, I like milk in my coffee. I like milk in my cereal. I like to put um, milk over strawberries, cream over strawberries. You know, everybody's got all these things and options to think about milk. <laughs> but when somebody asks you, do you want some milk? Now, you could either say yes or no. But some people outthink it. They go, do I want milk? Do you have cookies? Or is it cold? Is it fresh milk? Or you just say yes. Or do you say, no, it gives me a stomach ache. It just makes my stomach, you know, when you go in this long story. <laughs> so how many ways can you say things? And that tells you also how they think. Except some subjects, they think different. All right, so if you talk to someone and you say, do you want some milk? It, only if you're having some. Okay. Are you having some? <laughs> I mean, really. So you get your milk. And you drink your milk. Now, that's the way to drink your milk. Do you sip your milk? Do you gulp your milk? Do you take a spoon and stir your milk? Do you cook say, I want to eat a cookie to dip in my milk? <laughs> Can I have an ice cube in my milk, please? Is it low-fat skim milk? You know, I'm lactose intolerance is very wild. Mm -hmm. I can't eat meat cheese. Let me go in another story. <laughs> and some people are very aggressive. Say, like, do you want some milk? Yes, that sounds good. Ice cold milk. Right now, that sounds really good. Or, yes, that sounds nice. They don't have to ask about how warm, how cold, if it's fresh, how much you're going to get, if it's sweet, sweet milk, or non-fat milk, or skim milk, or dry milk. <laughs> Who was it, Aristotle? Asked so many questions that the people killed him. <laughs> Since we're going to kill you, you ask too many questions. Because he was saying, is this a house? What makes this a house? Does this house have steel? Does it have wood? I mean, he asked so many questions, they just killed him. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but I heard that once. <laughs> so you can't be as smart as Aristotle. Because all he did was ask questions drove people crazy. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. Just nonsense talk today, huh? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yes. I do like a, 
I like milk, ice cold milk. But I only drink out dry milk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My sister, if you mention dry milk to her, she's going, bleh, 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 I hate it, hey. <laughs> oh, we were kids. I remember Mama measuring out milk. We got milk on Sunday. Mama would measure it out. We had these little mason jars. She'd measure all our milk the same height so we'd all get the same amount of milk. <laughs> Oh, well, that's enough for the subject today. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and, and continue to crochet for a while. Might check out some YouTube, see what's going on out there. Might come up with a new project I want to do. But I do believe this one is very, very pretty. Very pretty. I might use this pattern again. I wonder if it would do well as a as a throw, a blanket. I'd make a purse, but I already got several purses. So I don't need any clothes. I could make another baby blanket. Oh well, that's what I'll do when I do it. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Remember, God has you in, in his hands. And you are special. Very, very special. You're an amazing person. And how do you like your milk? <laughs> Pray for Mother Earth and... Uh, for our bees and take care of yourself because you are very, very special. Bye-bye.